Natalia, thank you for that question. Uh, the last two years probably represent the most difficult period of time in our, uh, uh, the recent history of our bilateral relationship. That's inclusive of the post-Cold War period and probably a good part of the Cold War as well. We've never really seen in the history of our bilateral relationship the cuts in our diplomats and our diplomatic facilities to the extent that we have over the last two years. Uh, and so it really has represented a low point. But part of the challenge of being a diplomat is problem solving and it's figuring out a way forward and a way to move on with uh, an absolutely indispensable relationship because you can't wish the U.S.-Russia relationship away. It's a critical part of global stability uh, and must be maintained to some degree. So we have had our time of leadership uh, here in Russia. Uh, I'll be replaced soon. And I think my advice would be uh, to never give up because you can become cynical in this job and you can maybe uh, at, a, at a moment in time feel that there is no way out of a particular situation. But the cycles of the relationship take us up and down. And for every down moment, there will be an up moment. And uh, we will cycle through the bad times and probably experience better times. And we have to become proficient at managing this relationship through good times and bad times because chances are history will repeat itself. And if you look historically, uh, we have been uh, both friends and adversaries. And we have to be prepared and skillful enough to be able to manage our way through uh, either scenario and do it while maintaining dialogue and open doors. So that's in a sense the advice that I would give to uh, my successor. Don't give up, keep focused on a better way of managing and maintaining dialogue going forward. Thank you.